But the question is, should we buy this house? Morning Mangazoobs! When I say morning, because it's only 9.15 a.m. on Sunday morning, usually I'm awake at like 1 p.m. but today is a very, very special day for me and my dad. So just during the week, my dad's sister happened to be driving around our old area, which is Morfitt Vale, and saw that our very first house is up for sale. So we're gonna go take a look. It's open today. It's apparently up for auction. Uh, my dad bought this in, he can't really remember if it was 1979 or 1980, but he bought it for $29,000. And it's a 707 square meter block of land. So it's quite a big piece of land. Uh, the house is old, obviously, because it's built in the 70s. But yeah, I have all my memories there. I'll try and flash some pictures if I have any uh, of when we were kids. And this is, yeah, where me and my sister basically grew up so it's a very nice moment for us to get the chance to walk through it again and yeah I don't know a little bit of an emotional thing because uh, that's how many years ago it's more than it's almost 40 years ago uh, <laughs> I want to give away our age but it's almost 40 years ago but yeah it's going to be nice to walk through and see what's happened over the years uh, I remember how it looked I don't remember the house on the inside that much, but I do remember like the lounge room and the kitchen area. And I really remember the backyard. That's probably the main thing that I remember because as kids, we were always in the backyard. So yeah, very, very exciting morning. But the question is, should we buy this house? And this morning, guys, I am uh, obviously wearing glasses because it is sunny. My eyes are also a little bit uh, puffy, but I'm for the first time, using my gift from Jaja, ja, my ND filter. So I'm so excited about this. So I can now leave this on uh, one over 50 shutter speed, which is fantastic, 25 frames, shoot it cinematically. And this is the ND 16. And I'm also using the mic. So I'm gonna try to use everything to its full potential so that I can get the most out of this camera. And I'm absolutely loving this camera, guys. I cannot say, many more good things about this because it's just such a handy convenient thing to use so yeah anyway i gotta go pick up my dad and we will show you around hopefully it won't be too hard to shoot some footage but we'll try our best to get some good stuff in so this is where i grew up and dad also owned this property over here. Here's the backyard. Oh, I remember this. There used to be a shed here. And dad had a veranda up here with a shade cloth. It's quite a big backyard, isn't it? Yeah. They took her off the veranda. Mm. This is what I remember. This wall. <laughs> I remember walking up these steps. Okay. <laughs> I take picture. This is for your hand. So we had ah. Line, well, this this can't be the original one, but yeah, I used I have a few pictures hanging off this. I don't think that's the original side. From memory, I remember it being on this side. So it's quite a big piece of land, a big block. But the house is not that big. And so this is Dad's shed back in the day. Is this the same one? I didn't have this though, I don't think. Is this the same shed? Yeah. Yeah? And then he had a little garden set up here, but it's no longer. Through here. I think we'll picture some stuff up. So 
So is the house for us? Probably not this time, but I do have a goal in life that I would like to acquire all of the properties that my dad did have. Uh, but this one was quite run down. So I don't think this was a type of property that you could just fix up and try and sell it or fix it up and rent it out. It looked like it was quite a bit of work. So it's definitely seen better days since we moved in it, into it. And yeah, apparently it's going for $600,000 around about, uh, which is a lot of money from $29,000 back in the 1979 or 80s that dad bought it. And as you saw, he also owned the property beside it. Uh, so he owned both of those. One of them he paid 2850 or 28500 I should say. And then the other one he paid 29. So yeah, it's nice to walk through. It was definitely a flashback to when I was like one and two years old, uh, hanging off the clothesline and uh, you know, running around the backyard. So, yeah, but a lot of things have changed, like I said, and it's not as in pristine shape, but I guess, of course, it wouldn't be after that amount of time. Um, but, yeah, the guy said that they're really looking for it to be uh, developed. So it looks like it's going to be knocked down and redeveloped because it is a big piece of land. But, yeah, yeah. It was, it was really nice just to walk through there with mum and dad and mum remembers, you know, the things that they did there and dad remembers the things that he built there and the trees that they planted and stuff like that. So it was a nice uh, memory lane for us. But yeah, for now, it's not the property for us, that's for sure. Um, but yeah, it was definitely nice to go visit and, and have a look. And uh, dad was saying that he remembers renting out that property for below $80 a week and i believe they're getting about 500 plus right now uh, it said on the booklet that it could go for up to 550 a week which is a lot of money for a house like that and you're moving into you know the deep south which i guess it depends where you work at the end of the day but we uh enjoy living here nearer to uh, the mid of adelaide so we're, st we're on the coastline we're on the uh, glenelg side which is obviously one of the main beaches here. We're a 19 minute shoot from the city, which is very, very close in terms of most cities. And everything's very accessible here. Everything's a short drive and nothing's that hard to get around. But yeah, it was a nice, uh, a nice morning, an early morning. I uh, only had four hours sleep because Mimi has been really, really sick. Uh, she has sip on and a cough and she's really struggling to get good sleep in so she's waking up all the time crying i'm just hoping that when i get home uh she is asleep because i do want to get a bit more of a nap in uh, i'm really run down and i've taken two days off gym i don't want to take a third one off because as you know we have a goal for these next few days uh by the 31st i'm hoping to be 79 flat or even 78 but i think 79 is more reachable so yeah, we'll enjoy the rest of the day and we'll rest up for now. Good morning mga Zoobs! So hindi masyadong kagandahan ang ating background today dahil tayo ay magsasampay. Ngayong araw na ito ay linggo. Kaya naman ang ating mga chores ay talagang pambahay. Ang itim ng mata ko guys kasi yan pa yung makeup po yata yesterday. I have to buy the makeup remover na proper talaga pang tanggal ng mascara. Ubus na kasi. Anyway, yun. Medyo tamad days pero you still need to do your chores or your responsibility. Kaya, halika. Samahan niyo ako mag zampay mga zoobs. Sana hindi malaglag yung phone ko dyan. Yung mga nilaban ko today is mga towels. Towels namin. Malalaki. Kaya ito ang aking konti lang sampay. Kasi mamaya marami yung ibang mga uniforms nila. 
Actually, nakasalang na yung labahin ko. Dalawang loads lang today, tapos upas ulit. Kayo, ilang beses pa kayo nag -ano, naglalaba sa isang linggo? Kasi ako feeling ko araw-araw kailangan maglaba. Well, dahil maliit yung hamper namin siguro. Eh, lima lang kami. And then, twice a day kami naliligo. May gym kami. Siguro isa din yun sa mga factor. Kung bakit ang dami namin yung labahin. Ah, alam ko na. Kasi din may mga jacket kami. Kung napanood nyo din yung vlog ko kapon, may sampay laba din doon. <laughs> Pero alam nyo, na-enjoy ko naman din magsampay. It's like a challenge. <gasps> oh no! Mga soap, sila nyo. Hmm. Natanggal yung kuku ko. Oh. Tanggal na siya. Bye, nails. Ito na muna mga zoobs. Tapos yung isa kong kukunin yung blanket ni King. Mamaya na siguro. So, akit muna ako. Tao po! Who locked the door? You did? I did. You did lock the door? Lagay natin itong mga chorba. And then later again. Guys, we are at the gym. Thank you, Jaja. Coming in late notice. Ooh, pretty chilly night, huh? Oh. Thai restaurant. Yeah. We all just get some. Oh, barbecue! It's open. Hey. No, it looks like it's closed. Oh, it's early in the money. Yeah, maybe we can eat there. <laughs> we'll see. Alrighty, so we are gymming in Ganaug. Yep. For me, it's leg exercise, guys. I'm going back Not there. Glutes. Yeah, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Yeah, I keep thinking it's the six. Let's go. Swipe it. You're done with Jim. What's cooking? Your sloppy cow. <laughs> what about you? Oh, I'm so hungry. I feel like oysters though. Let's check. We'll have a look. There's actually a Thai place just down the road, so we'll quickly have a look what's on the menu. But oh, it's still early, no man. So, mm. yeah, bago natin sa Let's go check it out. Pretty chilly night, but not too bad. Oh, windy All right, so we're just going to pull up to this. Phuket Thai that we see open all the time. I don't know, to me, Barbecue Inn looks empty. I hope not, because it's a good spot and it's cheap steak. Decent quality. All 
Alrighty guys, have a look at this feast. We just came from Uncle Doc's. We got eight pieces of chicken and I didn't realize. Have a look at these things. That is legit. There's massive. It comes with the special sauce. And we've got some spring rolls here. Burger steak, so it's like very much like the Philippines. And then we've got some pasta here for the kids, so we're excited. Party. Ooh, party, party. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's, let's go now.